For the first half of the 2024 F1 season, Max Verstappen looks set for another runaway Drivers' Championship victory. It wasn't going to be as dominant as it was in 2023, but he had won 7 of the 14 races before the summer break. However, he's now gone 6 races without a win, and McLaren's Lando Norris is closing in. Red Bull have been trying everything they can to slow down their rivals, but nothing is working. Desperate pleas to the FIA for intervention are the only option remaining, but have they worked, or are McLaren free to fight for now? Today, I'll check out Red Bull's claims that McLaren and Mercedes are cheating and what the FIA thinks of it, so don't go anywhere. The Italian Grand Prix was yet another disaster for Red Bull's title hopes. The Constructors' Championship lead has been decimated over the last five rounds, and just eight points separate them from second-place McLaren now. Based on current form, McLaren will pass them next weekend in Baku, and Ferrari will probably knock them down to third place at some point during the American leg of the season in late October. It is a reality that Red Bull have begrudgingly accepted. According to Blick, a senior figure at Red Bull has already given up hope of holding off McLaren's charge in the Constructors' Championship, with the focus now on defending Verstappen's own title. The report says that an unnamed individual, described only as a member of Red Bull's top management, said before the race at Monza that we can forget about this championship. All that counts now is Max's fourth title. Verstappen has gone even further than that, though. While he has doggedly held on to his lead in the Drivers' Championship against the superior cars of McLaren, Mercedes and Ferrari, it is finally starting to fade away. As the teams around them continue to pile performance onto their cars, Red Bull have encountered the same problem that plagued those behind them for the last two years. Their car is impossible to drive, and they don't know what to do about it. Verstappen managed to tame it for the first half of the season while Checo couldn't, but now Red Bull have gone too far, and neither driver can extract the most out of the car anymore. Max said after the Italian Grand Prix that if Red Bull didn't instantly fix the situation, then they could say goodbye to both of their title challenges. At the moment, both championships are not realistic. We have to turn it around and it's not easy to do that very quickly. And then, if we can put that on the car, then it becomes more drivable. I've said a lot and now it's up to the team to come up with a lot of changes with the car, because we basically went from a very dominant car to an undrivable car in the space of 6-8 to eight months, so that is very weird for me and need to really turn the car upside down. This late in the season, with little development budget left and even less time to use it, any hopes of upgrades for the RB20 are basically over. Certainly ones that will make a big enough impact to turn this title around. Instead, Red Bull have reverted to the age-old F1 tactic of claiming their rivals are cheating. They went to the FIA complaining about the legality of the front wings on the McLaren and Mercedes cars. Red Bull believed the front wings flexed excessively and were not compliant with the rules. Yes, that's right, it's Flexi Wings Round 2 Electric Boogaloo. Front wings are essential to the aerodynamics of this generation of F1 cars, with McLaren and Mercedes both having introduced a new design within the last few months. Since then, Red Bull has seen its previous dominance of the sport slip away. In light of recent results, Red Bull senior advisor Helmut Marko went as far as calling on the FIA to take a look at their opponents' cars, telling Austrian media that the front wing of McLaren and Mercedes must be analysed. Team principal Christian Horner said that the McLaren front wing is very different to the rest of the grid after Norris won the Dutch Grand Prix. Of course, all of these cars are constantly being inspected and scrutinized by the FIA, and if the cars pass those tests, then they're deemed illegal by the word of the regulations. They could be designed to go against the aim of the regulations, but if they pass the test the FIA set, then they're legal to race. In situations where the FIA finds that a team has come up with a way to pass the tests, but they think the design of the car is against the intention of the regulations, then they will change the rules to include a test which the cars can't pass. This was the case with the Flexi Floors in 2022. A number of teams had worked out a way to get around a test for plank wear, so the FIA changed the rules to close the loophole that had been found. Horner himself pointed out another such situation back in 2021 when the rules were changed in response to something Red Bull were doing. Obviously, there are tests that they passed, but then you'd have to have a look at the wording of the regulation, said Horner. I mean, we got, if you remember back in 2021, certainly around Baku time, there was a change to the front wing regulation. Even though our wings passed the test, it was exploiting air elasticity. 
So that's an FIA issue, so we'll leave it and trust in them to deal with it, he added. Despite Christian Horner's claims, the FIA has dismissed Red Bull's accusations. On Tuesday, an FIA statement said, All front wings are currently compliant with the 2024 regulations. Red Bull had not formally objected to the wings on McLaren or Mercedes, and instead had just gone through the media to try and raise attention. The FIA was aware of Red Bull's statements and issued its statement in response to comments after Sunday's Italian Grand Prix from Red Bull team principal Christian Horner and the team's motorsport advisor Helmut Marko. The FIA statement added that the governing body was continually assessing the flexibility of bodywork, including with new onboard cameras that had been in use since the Belgian Grand Prix in July. It said, The FIA has the right to introduce new tests if irregularities are suspected. There are no plans for any short-term measure, but we are evaluating the situation with the medium and long-term in mind. Short-term in that context means this season, medium-term next year, and long-term 2026, an FIA spokesperson said. The controversy has been bubbling away for some races, but blew up at Monza after footage from an onboard camera showed McLaren's front wing bending and oscillating. If a wing can be made to flex in a certain way, it can increase speed on the straights by reducing drag, and then increase downforce again by returning to a different angle in the corners. The problem for the FIA is that no object can be made infinitely stiff. The correct amount of force will always cause an object to bend. They have to draw the line somewhere, which is what their scrutineering tests are for, and as they said in their statement, there are no plans to change those tests this year. With the front wing being such an important aerodynamic part in the current regulations, McLaren and Mercedes being forced to change theirs could have had a huge impact on their performance. It may have had a big enough impact to help Red Bull fight both teams again. Even if Red Bull couldn't save their Constructors' Championship challenge, Max could have held on for a fourth straight Drivers' Championship. With the FIA rejecting Red Bull's appeal for intervention, though, the situation isn't going to change, and Lando Norris is going to continue taking points off him at every race. The FIA said it examined front wings at every event and had been acquiring additional data since the Belgium race with an FIA-mandated video camera which captures areas of the front wing which are not visible through the official F1 cameras. It said the exercise would continue at least through the upcoming races in Azerbaijan and Singapore this month to ensure every team will have been running the mandated FIA camera on different types of tracks. This will ensure a large database, allowing the FIA to draw the most objective picture of the situation and quantify differences between the various dynamic patterns observed on track, the statement said. While McLaren and Mercedes may have flexible front wings at the moment, they are passing the FIA scrutineering tests, and in the eyes of the governing body, that is good enough for now. If Verstappen and Red Bull want to win a championship this year, they'll have to do it on track, not in the steward's office. Do you think the FIA should intervene into McLaren and Mercedes front wings? Or are you happy that if they pass the FIA tests, then they count as legal? Let me know your opinions in the comments down below, and until next time, drive safe and bye for now.